everyone welcome back to the channel this is emma and georgia and today we are watching high school musical the musical the series season four episode eight the finale if you want to watch our uncut seas reactions link to the patrons down below it feels so weird to think that we finally reached the <laughs> final episode because I, know. I think season two was airing when we started season one and that feels like so long ago, like the Ricky and Nini stuff is so old now, who even cares? I know. <laughs> it's just so crazy to think about how it started and how it's ending. Like, you know, EJ was still in school and, you know, it was, it was just so different. And now they're all so grown up and, you know, big things are on the horizon, especially for Gina, possibly going into Hollywood. Like that's such a big deal. And, mm. It is miles away from when they were in season one. Like that was unimaginable back then. We just thought it was a small high school production. Now Gina's on, Gina's on the precipice of Hollywood. Last episode, it was the night of the musical, the season four musical of High School Musical 3. And there was a lot of, I don't want to say miscommunication, but a lot of people not telling people how they really feel. We had Gina and Ricky planning to meet up during intermission and talk about what they wanted to tell each other about, with Gina it obviously being that she has an offer to go to Hollywood and Ricky wanting to say that he loves her. <laughs> and they just kept getting interrupted. Gina got dragged away for some press conference for opening night. Ricky went to go to the room and Gina's mum was there and she was like, oh, you don't know, she's going to Hollywood for for six months he knew nothing about it and i am certain that gina ha hasn't made her decision yet and if she's gone to that press conference i think it's just getting sprung on her that she's been confirmed to be going i don't actually think she's yeah. agreed to it yet i know i think i think she would have talked to ricky before she would have confirmed it anyway <gasps> imagine because she's a minor imagine if her mum like I'm gets done. the final say and she's just agreed to it Shit. for her yeah, that might be a good point, actually. Um, I mean, I, I'm sorry, I really don't like Gina's mum. She's beefing with a high schooler. That shows her mental age, honestly. But <laughs> it would not surprise me in the slightest if she went to Quinn and said, yeah, we're the go-ahead, she's going, without even, like, telling Gina. You know, she just thinks she knows what's best for her daughter, even though she's hardly ever been there for her during her school years and making decisions like this and honestly it's it's just so hard to watch because i really don't like her and how she idolizes mac for no reason I only know. reason being is that he has his whole life planned out year by year with the things he's gonna do which is it's, it's just not how life works it's unrealistic and, success uh, it is and i just for some reason she's just digging that and like yeah this kid has everything sorted out i guess it's everything that she isn't um maybe that's why she likes mac so much because i mean the mom she does stuff on a whim by the looks of things and doesn't really take her daughter's feelings into consideration whereas mac has everything planned out and you know gina's okay with that you know in her mind so yeah it's whatever i suppose but i i don't think she's made a decision but hey we're gonna see this episode we've got uh, a lot to sort out <laughs> and what's even worse is that it's not even that she's going to hollywood i think they might be filming it in new zealand because like yeah. for us if we were like someone's going to hollywood we're like oh my god that's so far but for them like it's still in the same country even though it might be far yeah. but New Zealand is like other side of the world, complete other side. So that is very, very far away for Ricky senior year. I personally don't think she will choose to do the film, but could be wrong. Mm -hmm. Also, Ashlyn and Maddox, neither of them were brave enough to confess their feelings. There was a misunderstanding there because Big Red and Ashlyn had to pretend to be a couple again to get the French guy away from them. And Maddox saw that and she was fuming. So there's just a lot of fog in the way of them at the moment. But Maddox yeah. was so pissed, she accidentally popped a balloon. 
and it broke the whole sound system. So now Mr. Mazzara can't be Coach Bolton, which is an absolute travesty for the musical. And Honestly. we were thinking who that who's gonna play Coach Bolton now, and I've realised I know who it's gonna be. <laughs> um, it's gonna be EJ, isn't it? It's gonna have to be. There's no one else, is there? I well, no, I was saying Seb's dad. <laughs> He's and definitely not going to be doing it. He's got a I lot to think about. Why. It's because they were just, I think he was just on screen and I was like, oh, this would be a way to show he supports his son by playing Coach Bolton. I don't know. I highly <laughs> doubt that. But no, it's going to be EJ because he said that he misses the musical stuff yeah. and he misses high school. So, of course, and I, I want it to be EJ. Finally, the final big like couple drama was Seb revealed that he is not out to his dad and so he got up on the stage and just kissed Carlos in front of the whole crowd his dad looked like he gave a little smile so I think he must be supportive I do hope we get a scene of him actually voicing that to Seb in this final episode though yeah it's needed um I I just remember when it panned to him I think he looked a little awkward and put a back which is fair enough you know there's not it's not something you see every day like um i think yeah i think we really need a scene between them a wholesome family moment because i think it's gonna be fine you know he loves his son he should love whatever he wants to do and who he wants to be with so i think it will be okay um yeah it just the way he said put it his family are they kind of keep to themselves and they don't really like talk about big stuff like this so it's gonna be interesting to see their reactions <laughs> mm. but yeah we've got a lot to cram in in this hour and it, i think it's gonna be quite fast paced so yeah hopefully we do see a bit of it <laughs> also i said the final couple drama i keep forgetting about jet and courtney because they just haven't oh, done anything with them the whole season Cor <laughs> Courtney is none the wiser. Okay, she like when Jet did a nice thing or whatever at the very end. Courtney looked at him for like two seconds and <laughs> had a tone. Yeah, she had like a different reaction. So maybe she's like like picked up on the signs a little. But throughout the whole season, she's been so oblivious to Jet and his advances. I mean, Jet hasn't really made it that clear. He just tries to talk to Courtney and fails kind of miserably <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh so i think jet needs to you know just rip the band-aid off and just say it because otherwise courtney is just gonna be oblivious to everything so but we yeah. do know that she got into both lewis and princeton college no so she had nothing to worry to about yeah she had nothing to worry about um but the decision is going to be hard but i yeah. think the university we saw was lewis wasn't it and she really felt at home there so I think that's gonna be the one she chooses. Me too. You made it to act two. <laughs> huh? Oh, <laughs> yeah. He's gonna finish the uh, musical okay this time. With you? <laughs> I already heard everything, and I am so happy for you. Of course, High School Musical Four wasn't a fluke for you. I, of course, you need to go and be a star. I'm gonna go. God, that was terrible, Gina. Yeah. There. <laughs> She, well, she didn't deny anything. She was just yes! a bit speechless. Oh, oh my god! god what have they done to you? <laughs> I guess I was just sort of hoping Ricky would put up more of a fight. Did you not see you his know body language? That would be so sucky of him if he put up a fight. Oh, Born to be Brave. That was a song in season one. Please take your seats. Act two will begin momentarily. Why is Coach Bolton on the sound system? There is a new Coach Bolton. <laughs> are you my son right now or are you my brother? Did you know about Gina's new movie? Yeah, he did. She, uh, Only for like 10 minutes. She didn't want to ruin anyone's night, dude. Dude! Did you do the thing? Oh god, this is so bad. Big Red, get lost. Running your lines? <laughs> Just, um praying that I make the correct decision about the rest of my life right now. So. Let's see, Courtney, it's not going to make much of a difference which one you choose. Those movies were one of the best things to ever happen to me. Somewhere in this universe, there's a whole other Monique that exists outside of Taylor. Wherever Courtney Green ends up is going to be the exact right place. Whatever she chooses is going to be fine. 
they're both good colleges. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. God, this bitch is that is what you were trying to tell me in the backyard the other day? One of the things. You have to go. It's the right thing to do. I told you, I wish it would all just slow down. I think she's going to take Gabriella's advice there. And, oh, oh God, God I hate these two, honestly. Why is this? Can't slow During down every time. single scene, Matt just shows up with uh, Gina's mom. Why? I'm a lot better at goodbyes than you. I've had a ton of practice. God, this is so real. I know. They just are drawing Gabriella. My entire life, I have wanted to be on Broadway. Wait, you've never been on Broadway? I guess the one thing I'd say is the best role is the one that you cast yourself in. Plus, there's only one Broadway, you know? <laughs> no. Ms. I don't Jen know. Do that sounds like she's going to stay to me. You'd make a hell of a teacher someday. I know, always offers advice and helps There's people. your career path, EJ. He's the Finn from Glee. EJ is Finn. <laughs> After learning that oh, Ashlyn God. is back together with Big Red. Finally, she had something important. Give them to Ashlyn tonight. <gasps> the way you talk about her is the way people talk about someone when they're falling for them. Oh, she. Love always matters. Look at Jet. <laughs> He got God. to read that, that and she's right there. You need me on stage? <laughs> I know. Jen's kind of a matchmaker, honestly. I have every feeling for you. Go on, Ashlyn. How many times did she offer to give you mouth to mouth? <laughs> Ash Hart's gadget? Oh. It was carved into a tree behind the bunks at Shallow Lake. EJ did this. Oh, what? He predicted we'd end up together. EJ is MVP. Oh. Most beautiful person I've ever met. Oh. oh what are we waiting like for? <laughs> like, stay friends. Uh, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. He wants the safe option, people. Come on. But, oh. What? That was so short lived. Was, very <laughs> abrupt. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> okay. I'm leaving. <laughs> no. I'm so happy for you too. It was about time, honestly. Did you sign the contract yet? After, mommy. I know After she's so show. she wants her daughter famous, probably so she can get money off her. Just, seriously, I'm angry at how good you were in Mark and Spark. <laughs> that episode where you had to perform emergency gallbladder surgery on the dog? It ruined me. I wish there were like 38 more episodes of that stupid. What? Show. Well, where is this coming from, Ricky? Congrats, Mac. I guess some nice guys really do finish first. Oh, he's calling him nice. Be good to her? Oh no, Ricky, don't do that. Please take care of her, Nazim. Can you imagine if Mac gives up his role and it's like, Ricky should take it? He's not going to do that, but I think no. he's going to tell Gina to not go. Oh, that car, I love that. Sounds like a goodbye to me. No, I can't say goodbye until I know all of the babies are okay. <laughs> they just... literally are kids. I can't. Come on, EJ, oh, your debut. You. When were you going to tell me about In this? In the light, you can't even see Julia? EJ's makeup. I so he just looks Fingers. like himself. You raised me to make my own choices. And I got to make them. Not you. Come on, Troy. Gina needs to talk to him. So far, Ricky's the only one that's been doing the talking. It really does show Ricky's growth, though, that, like, the drama now is arguably a lot bigger than in season one, and he is still pushing through to finish the musical because he has matured. I know, yeah. They have, like, matured greatly. Take it seriously. <laughs> oh, oh my Jesus. Goodness. What is this guy doing here still? Which is why I submitted an application in your name to Juilliard. Oh, it was her. What a life in the theater has That's kind of like me. what she did in real life as well. She yeah. had to apply it's for to Salt Lake one's College. Instincts. Yeah, she did do that, didn't she? And that takes courage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. My sister's going to make a movie in New Zealand. Oh, she's going to. Oh. Where was the last place you felt the happiest? On stage. Then the boys are back with idiot Ricky Bowen. <laughs> <laughs> Who was college? Yeah. 
That's all she needed. I was waiting for the pan to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really like their voices. They are re they're really good singers, and together they're incredible. I do, however, think this musical has been starved of Gina's dancing. A uh, High School Musical Four is uh, currently clocking in at three hundred minutes, and oh <laughs> my God, does it earn it? <laughs> That's five hours. Woo. We didn't even see Emmy much. I'm pissed. Or, or that other girl that is kind of a bitch. We didn't even see her act much. Yeah. Well, her accent was terrible. I'm glad we didn't see her. Yeah. <laughs> Courtney was an amazing Sharpay. And Carlos, a great Ryan. They were both amazing. And of course, they were the showstoppers. I'm not really French. Oh, oh wow, Andy, you're joking, right? Kano Chocolat was for you. <laughs> it was always for you. I'm not actually with Ashton. Interesting. <laughs> oh, God, Big Red, the freaking move there. That was so quick. <laughs> I'm sorry, what the hell? That's Big Red's end game? <laughs> I just love these kids so much. <laughs> Stay in costume because mommy needs pictures of her baby. Incredible that you've never been on Broadway. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> no, just the kids. Just Funny the kids the scene. in this picture. Gina's not there. It's a miracle to see you in a graduation cap and gown at all. <laughs> Low Seriously. Clothing, right? Yeah. No, I, I mean, you're not ready to graduate high school. <laughs> yeah. My dad has known I was gay since I was two, when I apparently cried after we slaughtered my favorite pig, and he's been waiting for me that's to come out for 14 years. That's what made him think his son was gay, showing human emotion. So his dad knew all along. Well, I knew we wouldn't see that conversation. We should just cheer her on and support her. Yeah, Ricky. Okay. <laughs> Happiness is something that just comes and goes, you know, like people or the weather in Utah. <laughs> but if I hadn't found this program, or um. Oh, stop. No, if, if this program hadn't found me. Ricky, you're gonna make me cry. <laughs> I don't know where I would have ended up, you know? I think that's the same for a lot because of them. No one really believed in me. This is. The best wow. thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> He's really doing well saying the truth. Oh, here she is. I got cast in Quinn's next movie and I'm getting in a limo and going to fly to New Zealand in about 20 minutes. I had no idea who I was. Not really until I- Save speech, save speech. <laughs> I know, just recycling Ricky's words. It's a, a based on a play. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Ashlyn, oh my you God, have to do everyone one on one. How's she gonna have time? Identity is allowed to keep growing. She's gonna get to Ricky last. You are the most courageous person I well, know. Wonder if she'll say something about EJ. I used to think that strength came from being fearless, oh. from overcoming fear, not the absence of it. I wonder how much of this is real tears. I love the way you unconditionally love people and the way you've always been I feel like they're all going to stay in touch. And like, I aspire to have such a beautiful mm, yeah, and definitely. big heart like yours. I'd be interested to see at the end if we get like a sort of epilogue thing where we see them at college. That you are actually a really big softie. Yeah, it's a huge softie. And if you don't softie. ask Courtney out, <gasps> oh, yes. or she, you know, graduates. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, Gina! <laughs> I do not get things right the first time, but thank goodness we can laugh about that now. Well, you're laughing, he isn't. <laughs> but you were. Yeah, exactly, Gina. You have been so much more than a teacher to, True to that. all of us. I've always been so scared that if people really know me, they won't like what they see. But with you, I feel so seen. We need you in the auditorium. Wait, Maddox, are you? I am. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm such a mess. Um, oh, I don't actually smell with Ricky's shoes. Too much. Shoes. Does anyone else want to say something? You can take the girl out of Salt Lake, but you can't take Salt Lake out of the girl. Wise words. Dude, what do I do? I didn't. You didn't tell her I you love her. I love you. Where's that electric guitar? Gina Porter. I've got her mum's here. Fuck off. <laughs> Let's make some headlines tonight. <laughs> Make some money. Yeah, by quitting. <laughs> I have made the difficult decision to leave Romeo and Juliet oh, before 
I was even announced in it. Huh? Still got something to say about a certain grown-up boy. And he and wants his to write dog. a revival. Fam, we're rebooting Mark and Spark. They're all there. And the only reason I have the strength is because of the people here at East High who made me who I am. And not my mom. <laughs> oh yeah, true. <laughs> Don't sign oh, the line, Gina. Oh, it's all going on. Am I too late? Always too late, but no, not this time. Face. <laughs> 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 I'm surprised Quinn hasn't thrown a pissy fit yet. He's so too busy wrong, thinking this is my Romeo. So. I love you. Oh. I think Quinn is actually seeing some potential here. This is how they make headlines. Yeah. Oh, they're all in. Did he ask her out? Well, Dina kind of put the question out there, didn't she? How can you sign that? Yeah, screw you, Dina's mom. Watch and learn. This is an incredible way to announce a movie. This was the plan the whole time. Uh, yes, it was. Know, to, totally. To really uh, make some headlines. Do you still have that hat from Thanksgiving? Yeah. Literally on me? <laughs> it's, it's my favorite hat. <laughs> Check under the tag. No, don't she tell me she wrote not I love say you it back it. then. I love you too, Ricky. What? How has that been there Is the whole time? Like, oh, huh? That could have been so embarrassing. And the only reason I have oh. the strength to play a role as big as Juliet, and wait, I honestly can't wait to read it. five minutes ago. Incredible. Thank you, Quinn, oh. for agreeing at the last minute to shoot Romeo and Juliet here in Salt Lake City. Where oh. oh! Alongside the best drama class Oh my God. Gina! Oh my <laughs> God, Gina, you are balls of steel the same <laughs> I need time in my schedule to do my spring musical. <laughs> she oh has to mark. Yeah. Uh, she does, I she get is. That. As long as I also get to stage manage Miss Jen's next show. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. But, Mac, hello. Guts are good. Guts. Maybe you were worth it. Huh? Oh god. Come through Too my soon. Front door next time. Approval there? Was it a yeah. sorry? No, who wasn't? No, no, I couldn't. <laughs> Come on, couldn't we? we, 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 <laughs> finally. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! What do theater kids do after opening night of their high school musical? They eat pizza. Oh, they're going to live home. But those two were together. <laughs> It Even was kind of underwhelming, but... It was underwhelming! I wish we had a conversation, at least! Yeah. Oh, he's touched his heart! Don't need a king! Ah, oh, this is crown. hard to be brave. There's some sort of a big question mark about Courtney and Jet still, though. Yeah, there's a lot of question marks, I see. Yeah. Have. Courtney's hair yeah. is wild. <laughs> Lives for a this is a Wicked song. Is it? Yeah. I've seen Wicked, but I can't remember any of the songs. I just know it was in Glee. They don't know it. I'm guessing the actress was probably in Wicked. She has a but very stage I'm voice. Who I am yeah. today. More to be brave was a goodbye for the characters, but now this is the cast. Oh, it's kind of wholesome, though. In this lifetime. I'm still salty about him. Yeah, he's not actually Big Red, but I don't know the actor's name. <laughs> I'm just happy he got a solo. Oh, That was so nice. <laughs> the actors that played Jet and Courtney got closer than the characters ever did. <laughs> that is saying something. Oh my gosh. Oh. Wow, that was such a nice ending. Like that, that singing at the end. Um, yeah, I kind of like 
think that was kind of better than the singing at the end of the characters like i just think it was really nice that they wrapped it up that way my favorite thing about this was that the musical was spread across two episodes because i said last episode i was worried it was just gonna be a one episode thing a rushed musical and then like the main focus was the film but like they didn't bring the cast members back like they brought back monique but no one else they were all just in the first scene of the series I thought they were going to have a much bigger part to play in um, this series. Yeah. I'm kind of glad that it was just Monique though and not like overcrowding all the kids and yeah. having these adults who were once like really famous for High School Musical. Like I kind of like how they kept it authentic and um, just kept the cast as it was and just sprinkled a bit of the high school musical originals you know like i kind of liked it that way um i completely I really... agree because i yeah i do think though it was marketed not necessarily marketed but it was hyped up for a long time the cast members were returning so that's why i was like oh wow they're yeah really... i f mm, i think they did over market that considering they were in it for a total of what two minutes like mm. It, it really was, if if you're watching this specifically for them, you would be disappointed. Um, yeah. And that it, it's, it's kind of not fair to market it so much because they're the stars, they're the famous people. But yeah, if, if you like it for, you know, the usual cast, then yeah, this is a good, this is a good ending for you. But so as if you're here for the famous people because they were in it, in it for a minute so but i think yeah. because both of us don't really have that attachment to high school musicals a lot of people do like we watched it when we were younger but i'm not someone that still rewatches it to this day or no like yeah that all that much so i'm not yeah. bothered about that at all i'm actually glad that they weren't in it much because the storylines of these characters wouldn't have been wrapped up as well i do think mm. there were some things that i'm unhappy with with the way they were wrapped up but um, <laughs> we'll get into that my but as i said my favorite thing was that the musical was spread over the two episodes because i'm still reading from season two being the musical in one f and it was so so rushed but the yeah. musical was more of a focus in this episode than the film i thought the film was going to be such a big focus but it really wasn't at all and that kind of shows like that is where all their hearts lie it is with the musical and that's why it got the forefront of screen time yeah i agree um I'm also glad that they made it more about the kids musical, the school, the school play. I'm glad it was spread across two episodes as well, like you said, because who wants it rushed? You know, we get some funny musical numbers from the kids and I thought the parallels between Ricky and Gina, Gabrielle and Troy, they were so clear, clear. Yeah. like it was as if they were talking normally, like it was, it was so obvious that you know they are literally trying to grab each other in real life um so yeah it was interesting seeing that and you know just wrapping up their school life basically um it was nice that was good um they really did focus on the try and gabriella duets like um i would have had no idea they had that many duets in one film <laughs> um yeah. they pulled those out more in this episode to highlight ricky and gina's issues um but I also liked that they brought back the hat that she knitted him in season one and that it had the I love you too Ricky inscribed on it. I kind of don't like that it was I love you too. I feel like if, it was, if you're reading this I love you Ricky would have been better because in season yeah. one Ricky didn't really reciprocate her feelings all that much. So if he had just like got the hat and opened it and saw it say "I love you too," I know it would have lost its effect. Nini, it would have been really like anticlimactic and embarrassing for her, but because <sighs> it's like kind of you know because they're together now and he said "I love you first," it is actually cute. I just think like had had he looked at that in season two, it wouldn't have had the same effect at all. Oh, definitely not. No, I think I was kind of I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of annoyed at gina a little bit in this like final two episodes because it's been going on and on about her like hollywood big acting break um and we've seen lots of characters trying to 
say their real feelings to each other but failing in this episode they did that but i feel like it was kind of lacking on gina's end i think she basically just sort of stood there and took it from ricky she never really i mean they didn't have much time between breaks in the show that's what i do empathize with the fact that they were on yeah. a bigger time crunch and this is a life they were conversation they were and okay yeah that's fine but i don't know it's just it just felt a lot like ricky talking and gina listening i didn't really get much of gina really saying how she felt and even at the end there she just sort of showed the hat i don't know it was kind of it was cute and all but i don't know it kind of lacked for me a little bit considering i've just watched the build up and then that's it um, I think that was better than her me. just saying I love you too, personally. Because we've I seen suppose. that hundreds of times before. Like, someone says I love you, yeah. oh, I love you too. But that had, like, a yeah. memento behind it. But she did really pull through in that press conference. She just changed the whole film. <laughs> yep. In one She scene. changed it. I mean, anybody else in Hollywood would have just sacked her on the spot. Like, fuck you, I'm getting oh, yeah. different, Juliet. Like, easy peasy. But um yeah that was bold of her and i mean quinn did say be bold so just do Thankfully, what you told the reporters ate it up quinn was happy <laughs> yeah yeah um i don't really know where that left the role of um romeo though is that gonna go to ricky or now that is one of the things that i'm bothered about because yeah we know that max pulled out but will he still pull out no, I think he will still pull out either way because he wants to do the revival. But we don't know who's going to play the Romeo now. Like, we are left with an open ending there of whether Ricky will start it with her or Gina will start with someone else. Like, because if Ricky ends up getting the role in the film, then who knows? Maybe he won't go to college. That poses a whole load of new questions there. Exactly. And also, Jet and Courtney, it's kind of unconfirmed whether they're together like yeah he, Gina just said ask her out and then they sang together but that was it it was I, I just want to say it was just so painful watching them too like <laughs> like Jet was trying so hard to like sort of express his feelings to Courtney and he's terrible at it <laughs> um, and Courtney is none the wiser she's just kind of in her bubble about college and stuff so she didn't know any of his advances so it was kind of painful and open-ended i kind of was hoping we'd get a moment between them but wasn't just jet like ma like word vomiting the whole time just like humming and ahhing about it um that was that kind of sucked um but yeah we didn't know. see him ask her out i liked when he said that uh gadget was his best friend though i thought that was cute that was nice but that also reminds me of the fact we didn't even see miss jen and mr mazara have a talk and get together oh, that was I just sort of reminding i'm pissed about that <laughs> that was just sort of confirmed kind of at the end there it was when just they like, hugged yeah she was just like shall we go and then i know it was like we? finally <laughs> Like, and it's like, it was like, where is this was like so confirmation of mutual feelings come from? Like they have never spoken about this to each other. I wanted a really awkward Mr. Mazzara confessing his feelings scene. Me and too. I feel cheated. I do too. I was like, this whole time he's been clutching his heart. Like, oh my god, Miss Jen is amazing. Like, oh, I really just love her and. Miss Jen's, all she's been thinking about is Broadway and if she should take this part. A bit like Courtney, the parallels are similar. Miss mm. Rosario never confessed. Miss Jen is none the wiser. And at the end, we just get a we? Oh my God, we're going, whatever. Like, that's it. That was so bad. Yeah, oh. I'm fuming. We were invested in the wrong shit, clearly. <laughs> I know, no one likes an underdog, clearly. Like... Oh, it just kind of sucks, but... And we didn't hey see the conversation with Seb and his dad. We didn't, we just got an announcement, which, okay, fine, but I kind of wanted that conversation aired. That's like, why I was worried, like, even though the episode was an hour long, it did still feel rushed in some places, and we are left did. with a few questions. Yeah, like, I get it, the musical took up half of it, yeah, but the other half, a lot of unanswered stuff could have been done then but it was just i don't know it just did feel oh, kind of rushed in parts i know i'm sorry but what 
fig bread and the French guy. Oh my god, I forgot about that. <gasps> what? That was out of nowhere. Like Why they, would I feel the like the writers suddenly fancy him back. I know. I feel like the writers were like, hmm, we've got Big Red here. We've got to make him with somebody. I'm the French guy, the fake French guy that likes pan au chocolat and all of that. They were like, yeah, let's just mesh these two together. No chemistry throughout the whole thing. They barely know each other. Let's just put them together just to clean up loose ends. It was so bad. I think it was there for shock value more than anything. Yeah, and it probably. achieved that. Oh, um, it did on our end, yes. Amongst all of our, you know, nitpicky things, it was a it was a heartfelt goodbye. And the, the scene of Gina, like, bawling, telling everyone what she loves about them was really, really heartfelt. And also the scene with Monique and Courtney, I really liked that. And I feel like it gave a little bit of insight, perhaps. I know it's a script, but I feel like it probably did give a little bit of insight into how actors really do feel with, like, their lives being tied to one role their whole lives because like we all know Monique as Taylor from High School Musical but that is not all she is that was like three years of her life when she yeah. is like in her 30s now that's just the tiniest part of her but it's how everyone knows her yeah. her saying to Courtney like this is this will not decide your life like you are more than one decision I yeah really like it. it is literally just a blip in the timeline it's it's so small in comparison to your life like like who like it doesn't really matter which university you go to you're still gonna have an amazing experience and yeah it was it was heartfelt a lot of it and i almost felt like crying when gina was like she really like said everything she needed to say and ricky's was, speech was, was the nice. one that nearly got me when she was talking to ej that kind of hit for me because EJ literally, I do just feel sorry for him because we are EJ stands now. We are EJ stands. He is the person people come to to cry on and just give yeah. advice. But she actually sort of thanked EJ for being in her life, and I thought that was really nice. Like no one's ever really done that for EJ before, um, so that you know almost got me going. But yeah, it was really nice her saying all the friendships she's made, all the memories, the good and the bad like how they have shaped her and who she is so that was really nice um i can allow that time <laughs> to go on you know not feel rushed that was nice that's it for today guys thank you for your reaction to season four episode eight of high school musical the musical the series if you want to watch our uncut reactions the link to the patreon page will be in the description below leave a like if you enjoyed and we'll see you next time bye bye I like them sweet, but not eat them on the cheeks. I bet you taste like berries, so high.